In this video, I'm gonna tell you about three cuts of meat that you are probably not eating that you need to be eating, and um, they are pretty, pretty cheap, actually. So the first one is called sobaco. Sobaco, in English, is armpit. I know it sounds crazy. I don't actually have any clue what you call that piece of meat on a cow, but go ask your butcher. It is super soft. It is so delicious, and it is perfect for hamburger meat. Number two, the brisket. Brisket is amazing to get ground and turned into hamburger meat. And number three, and this might be a little bit controversial because I don't know if it's actually what I'm getting. So the part of the cow called the neck is amazing. However, the direct translation from Spanish to English, morillo, morillo is hump. And uh, you can see it. I'm going to put a picture up here. So hump, that specific part of meat, if it is actually what I'm getting, is ridiculously fatty and delicious and it costs a lot of money in the US. And I'm not sure if I'm actually getting that part or if I'm just getting the neck, but I highly recommend that you try getting, go to your butcher and get neck meat. It's very fatty. Um, and if you can, get the hump. And the hump is on a very specific type of cow called the Brahmin American. Anyways, it's delicious. Either if it's the neck or the hump, it's, it's gonna be good. So I like to, mix the sobaco, the armpit, with either brisket or the hump or the neck, and you get this like super soft, super fatty, super juicy burger. It is amazing when you're on the carnivore diet. It's amazing if you're a meat lover. Uh, everyone needs to try this piece of meat out. I'm gonna make some burgers here and show you all about it. Okay, so Jacob is helping me. Those are the little hands here. Uh, he's helping me mix up the meat together and season it. I just used some seasoning. Uh, salt, some garlic salt. My seasoning doesn't have anything bad in it and I can use seasoning, but if you can't, that's up to you. If you can or can't, that's up to you on your um, carnivore diet. So yeah, we're gonna make some delicious burgers here. <laughs> I cannot recommend these three cuts of beef enough because uh, they're actually gonna be cheaper than other cuts of beef. And I really recommend that you find a good butcher and become very good friends with your butcher because you can get things like this. Uh, you can also get like uh, chunks of fat that you need uh, to cook in, usually for dirt cheap. So it's really important that you, when you're on a carnivore diet, you find those people like butchers that are gonna help you to get the right cuts of meat. We don't have to spend a gazillion dollars on ribeyes to be successful and do well on the carnivore diet. But I highly recommend you check out other cuts and uh, make it work for you. We don't have a grill, so we just made this. It's literally like a, a metal bowl on top of something holding the bowl with a, a grate and um, our cast iron pan. So we decided to cook outside. And I just wanted to show this to you because look how useful a cast iron pan is and look at my amazing view. That is what I get to look at every single day of my life. These burgers came out amazing, by the way. Uh, they were so juicy and so delicious. Just look at how awesome these burgers look. Uh, look at how they turned out. It's amazing. So I just wanted to show you, like, if you don't have a grill, you could literally cook outside with a cast iron pan and some coals. So there you go. That's me. And if you can't cook outside, you can use your cast iron pan and uh, cook inside as well. I have a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I, I want to get some grease, but honestly, these burgers are sufficiently greasy enough, uh, they are fatty enough with those specific cuts of meat that you probably don't even need to add the grease if you have your uh, cast iron skillet hot enough. So I cover my burgers when I'm cooking them because I don't want them to get all dried out. Again, these are very, they're full of grease, so you get like, they're gonna stay very juicy, but still for me, I wanna do that. And I also, I just, I don't try to flip them a lot. I just, if I can, I just give them each one flip, maybe I'll, smush it down a little bit, but also that helps to uh, keep it correctly cooked, like how I want to eat it. Look at perfect, delicious burgers, crispy on the outside, super good and juicy and uh, delicious on the inside. I hope you try these cuts of meat. I hope you try these burgers. Uh, when you try new cuts of meat, yep, if you want cheese, add some cheese. If you want to try new cuts of meat, you got to try it on the carnivore diet. You got to try it if you're not on the carnivore diet, because there's so many good cuts of meat and we're so used to like, you know, just get your ground beef or get your ribeyes or get your London broil or get your chuck. But there's other parts of the cow that are also amazing and you'll, you will be surprised. 
Look at this, delicious, amazing, and so good for you. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Are you gonna try these cuts of meat? Are you going to go to your butcher and find out new and exotic parts of the cow to try out? Let me know. And let me know what your favorite cut of meat is.